I'm Captain Jason Reeser, and I'm a fire investigator with the Spokane Fire Department. We're here at the Spokane Fire Department burn building to talk about cooking safety and demonstrate how quickly a cooking fire can start. As you can see, we have taken the necessary safety precautions with equipment, a fire extinguisher, and trained firefighters nearby. We have two cups of regular vegetable oil set to high. We often see fires like this when people return home after spending an evening out and around the holidays. People are tired, they may have had a couple of drinks and don't pay attention to what they're doing. Grease gives us a bit of a warning and starts smoking before flames erupt. To safely put out a small grease fire, keep the pan lid nearby, gently slide the lid over the pan and turn the heat off. Leave it there until the pan is completely cooled. If you take the lid back off too soon, a fire can restart. For an oven fire, turn off the heat and keep the door closed. Another common fire hazard that we see is people using the stovetop as storage. Sometimes it's groceries, mail, or boxes when people are moving. It starts smoking and you can see how quickly the flames can erupt. Due to fire education efforts, most people now know that the last thing you do is put water on a grease fire. From time to time, people ask why. Today we are going to show how dangerous it is. Pouring water on a grease fire will cause the water to instantly boil and vaporize. The boiling water expands, spraying burning oil out of the pan. This can cause the fire to spread very quickly and can cause injury to people standing nearby. 